Good morning, FHS, and welcome to another episode of the Saber Roar. I'm Robbie. And I'm Mitch. Just for fun, we have hidden this Saber somewhere else in the show today. If you find it, be the first to email its location to the Saber Roar at franklinsabers.org from your school Gmail account. Include your name and resource teacher, and you could win a Saber Roar Superfan t shirt and a free lunchroom cookie. Keep your eyes open. We'll have highlights of the wonderful performance at Prom Preview and our very first Little Saber Foo Foo segment. Music was heard throughout the halls of St. Francis High School when the Soul and Ensemble Festival was held. Each year, kids from grades 7 to 12 participate in a district wide music collaboration. This year, Soul and Ensemble was held at St. Francis High School in Milwaukee on March 1st. Students practiced an average of five months to perfect their pieces and push for the best score, which is a one. Schools involved included Greenfield, Oak Creek, New Berlin Eisenhower, and of course Franklin. From Franklin, there were over 200 students involved in solos, duets, trios, quartets, quintets, and large group ensembles. At the festival, three different levels of music were available for judgment. These different classes of music demonstrate a scale of difficulty in a solo. Class C is a middle school level, Class B is a high school level, and Class A is generally a college level of difficulty. In Class A pieces, students also have the opportunity of going to state, which is held at UW Parkside in May. Good job to all students who performed, and congrats to the 53 events who will advance to state in May. The 12th annual Jazz Cabaret was held again for FHS with a medley of music. The Jazz Cabaret featured performances from the High School Jazz Ensemble, Chamber Chorus, Show Choir, Orchestra, and the Middle School's Jazz Band and Pop Singers. With Miss Burns' dance lessons and a guest performance from the Swinging Company B, the overall night was the cat's meow. The, the Jazz Cabaret planning process is really a year-long process. As soon as the previous year's cabaret finishes, we start thinking about the upcoming year. We contact um, potential guest artists, um, select a date, collaborate amongst us as music educators to find a time of year and a theme that works best for everybody. The music department raised $2,000 for future music department endeavors. The hospitality and tourism class recently held their annual chili contest. The contest was held in room 264 for students to show off their homemade chili. Each class selected their own recipes for others to critique on its taste, aroma, and uniqueness. The diners also had their choice of beverages, toppings, along with a candy bar dessert. Get a taste next year and cast your vote. With no art fiesta this year because of the new art curriculum, disappointment strikes the art students and their parents. The Art Fiesta was an event that took place every March to display works of art made by the district students and staff, as well as an opportunity to teach the community about the art curriculum. Art is an important means to express oneself, and the Fiesta helped the students grow into better artists. While the K-12 district-wide art review is still being worked on, the Art Fiesta will be canceled this year. Thankfully, the Art Fiesta will return the winter of 2015 to reflect on the revised art curriculum. Prom is a very special high school experience for students, but it can also be very expensive. With prom right around the corner, students from the junior class put on FHS's annual prom preview to raise money to offset the cost of prom. The audience enjoyed the latest in prom fashion supplied by local businesses and a few prom proposals as well. The girls and then the guys performed their own dance routines as well as a routine together which were all choreographed by senior prom girls Alyssa and Ellie. Prizes such as free tanning sessions and limo rentals were raffled off to people in attendance. Money raised from the raffles combined with ticket sales will greatly help the junior class pay for prom. If you're interested in purchasing a DVD of Prom Preview, they are available in TV Tech, room 245, for $15 a piece. We now have a special segment that will bring back childhood memories featuring a little bunny who gets lost in Franklin High. Little saber foo foo hopping through the high school, looking for adventure wherever he may go. Just another day at Franklin High, Little Saber Fufu is about to appear to someone who doesn't know he is near. Hello, Saber Fufu. Where is he going? Little Saber Fufu hopping through the high school, looking for adventure wherever he may go. Oh no! Where did Little Saber Fufu go? You have three clues to find where he is hiding. Where did Little 
Saber Fufu go! You found him! He is in the diving well! Great job! Little Saber Fufu hop through the high school looking for adventure wherever he may go. Thanks for watching! Tune in soon for the next episode of Little Saber Fufu! Where will he hide next? Where will Little Saber Fufu hide next? I guess we will never know. It's time to find out who this week's uproar winners are. Good morning. Today's math lesson is we're going to look at this equation x plus y equals z. Now whenever we're doing an equation we want to define our variables. So our first variable x equals homework completion, y is time spent studying, and z equals Timmy's improved success in math. Way to go, Timmy. Keep it up. Well, I happened to be in the cafeteria um, during the lunch hour, and I was asking um, staff and students to sign our Best Buddy banner, spread the word to end the word. And I happened to observe a young lady sit down at a lunch table with one of my students who usually always eats alone. And eventually she made her way up to sign the banner. And I didn't recognize her, not even just by face. And so I introduced myself, I asked who she was, and she told me that she was new to Franklin High School as of this semester. And I asked her how she knew my student. And she said, well, I don't really know him, but I just noticed that every day he eats alone. So I, I sit with him when we have the same lunch. And needless to say, I was just so impressed with that. And for one thing, just that she would do that. Second of all, that she was new to the school. She didn't seem to care what anybody thought. I was just extremely impressed. That girl was Nadia Rausch. Thank you so much for your compassion. Congratulations. Keep doing good deeds, FHS, and you'd like to see your name on our show. On February 11th, the school participated in Franklin's first amazing race. Eight contestants, 24 cameras, 40 video students, and 1,400 spectators. Though it wasn't exciting in every area of the building, the magic of reality television happens in the editing room. Next week, we'll be airing the completed amazing race right here on the Saber Roar during Tuesday's resource. Be sure to watch. Well, did you see the Saber hidden in the show? If so, email your answer to the Saber Roar at franklinsabers.org for your chance to win a cookie and a free t-shirt. That's all we have for today. I'm Robbie. And I'm Mitch. I'm not wearing pants right now.